little too heavy. Terribly fun way to live, though. Be ready!
think we're safe now. It would seem. Father, after we scattered Mother's ashes, what then? What comes next? Nothing comes next. We go home. That's it? The adventure is over? For now. But we will have much to do. You were right earlier, on the boat after cutting down the last tree. You said it felt like something had changed. And it has. And our home is no longer safe. But it will be again. And we must continue your training. Okay. Is that a sap? Crystallized sap. And there is power inside. Incredible! I can't believe we fought a dragon. I was aiming for his eyes, but I kept losing my footing. Do you think this is their home? Did they move in after the giants left? Or are they why the giants left? Boy, the air goes thin here. No more questions. Breathe. Oh, yes. I see. Kill something that big? If we can catch it off balance. I can distract him. 
are you doing? We have to help him. Break right. Find an angle. Wait for my mark. Thank you.
have a plan. Be ready to lower the crane on my mark. I don't know how this thing works. I do not care. Be ready. <laughs> Nobody's killed a dragon for hundreds of years. Not since the grand culling of the worms. And unless I'm mistaken, you did all that for me. You are mistaken. The dragon was simply on our path, nothing more. You deny it all you want, but you saved me. And that deserves compensation. What are these? Braided mistletoe arrows. Straighter than Heimdall and perfectly weighted. Oh. Um, thanks? Oh. Okay. Hold on. Uh, ooh, not that. Um, have you seen my brother again? Yeah. He said you lost your talent. <laughs> oh, and that I'm selfish. No. I'm sure. That I value a weapon's look. No. Over its purpose. That I'm pretentious. No. And uptight. Fussy. I know what he thinks, but he can't hurt me any- Ah! Burn that. I do not have time for this. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. I have a better idea. What? I just need a tooth from that dragon. Watch where you grab that. Oh, ah, never mind. Oh, so unclean. Oh, so so unclean. Oh, oh, the smell. Perfect. That should do. Oh. Yeah. I am not touching that. Just hold it out. Now, run that along the string of your son's bow. Just humor me. Atreus, your bow. Two passes should do it. 
Ah, uh, gently, now. Whoa! Oh, sure. Now you're impressed. Um... See, figured it out on your own then. Just never mind. I wasn't just explaining the beautiful and complex artistry of my craft or anything. No, just anything to help you. Yep. Oh, what brings you around, friend? How about you, young one? And back to you? Keeping that clean. Fine piece of work, if I say so. Enjoy cutting trees. You just cut trees with that, right? Be seeing ya! Feels like it wasn't that long ago we were hunting deer. Now we fought dark elves, trolls, and ogres, and a dragon. I feel like we could be anything now. We win because we are determined. Disciplined. Not because we feel ourselves superior. Sure. I know. It's just... It feels good to be strong. You know? Yes. I know. Stuck.
gotta find a way to lower that bridge. That has to be the way out of here. Here, boy. Another one. This one's called Emir. Mother tried to die. I think I was too young. Are giants coming out of his armpits? I think that might be Odin stabbing him. Shattering things with this. Interesting. Not long now, Mon. broke when we fought the dragon. It's all right. I can hold it. Stop.
broken quiver will slow your draw. Pain we endure. Faulty weaponry we do not. This will do for now. Good? Good. Hmm. Go. Steady, boy. Mind your footing. Ready yourself, boy! You hear those voices too, right? Yes. Be silent. Is it getting colder? You know why we're here. to loosen your tongue. That sounds like the same man who came to our house. You said you killed him. Shh. He's brought company this time. Must be important that the sons of Thor deign to grace me with their presence. Impress Daddy. The tattooed man. Tracks show he now travels with a child. Where would they go next? Why would I know that? You're the smartest man alive, aren't you? Smarter than all the dead ones, too. You help me, I help you. Tell me where they are, and I'll talk to Odin. Your father won't let me go, Baldur, and he won't let you kill me. You have nothing to offer me. So take your questions, take your threats, take these two worthless wankers, and piss off! When no one's looking, we'll be back for your other eye. Don't you forget, we're everywhere. We really are, aren't we? Ah, the very topic of conversation. A tattooed man traveling with a child. We took their path. Make sure we're alone. But we just saw them leave. Do as I say. He doesn't know what you are. And I would keep it that way. Who are you? Me? I'm the greatest ambassador to the gods, the giants, and all the creatures of the Nine Realms. I know every corner of these lands, every language spoken, every war waged, every deal struck. They call me Mimir, smartest man alive. And I have the answer to your every question. Why does the son of Odin hunt us? Okay, there are a few gaps in my knowledge. But Odin's had me imprisoned here for 109 winters. I'm a clever lad. I can piece it together. Promise. Given time. Nobody there, just like I said. 
The boy's mother is dead. She wished her. She wanted us to spread her ashes on the highest peak in all the realms. Oh, then you've come to the wrong place, little brother. The highest peak in all the realms is not here in Midgard. It's in Jotunheim, realm of the giants. No! That could not be what she meant. Take a look. This is the last known bridge to Jotunheim in all the realms. See that mountain? Looks like a giant's finger scraping the sky. That's the highest peak in all the realms. No here. Can we just take that bridge? We have a Bifrost. When the giants destroyed all other bridges to their realm, they locked this one up with a secret rune. If it still exists, only a giant would know it. And all of them left Midgard a long time ago. True. But today, the winds of fate have kicked up a strange vortex of coincidence. Fact is, there's only one person alive who can get you where you need to go. And luckily for you, my schedule's wide open. We're going to Jodenheim, right? It's your best and only move from a tactical standpoint. It's the one place the man who cannot be killed won't follow you. What do we do? Yes! First, you need to cut off my head. Wait, what? And Odin made sure that no weapon, not even Thor's hammer, could free my body for these bonds. But fortunately, you don't need my body. The trick is, we need to find someone who can reanimate my head using the old magic. Old magic? Mm. There's a witch of the woods. She knows the old ways. And she'll help. She might do worth a try. But if she fails, he will be dead. He tortures me, you know. Every day, brother. Odin himself sees to it personally, and believe me, there is no end to his creativity. Every single day. This... This isn't living. Very well. Oh, I can't watch this. Brother. In case you can't resurrect me, there's something you need to know. The you wait to tell him his true nature, the more damage you do. He will resent you, and you may lose him forever. There is much about me I would not have. So you value your privacy more than your son. I'm going to cut off your head now. Fair enough. the long-lost realm of the giants that's that's inconvenient yeah that's just what I was going to say with the blood red leaves, south of the lake. I know just where to go. Hope she made it back from Alfheim and can bring Lemir back. He seemed nice, before you cut off his head.
can't believe it was Balder that came to our house. The Acer God. Balder. And you fought him. And won. Yes. One of Odin's sons. Thor's brother. And now he's hunting us with his nephews. Why is this happening? If we can raise the head, you can ask him. Okay. You know, it's silly, but I secretly hope we find a giant somewhere in that mountain. I guess they really did leave Midgard. Except for the serpent. Maybe the last of his kind. Are you the last of your kind too? Is that why you don't like to talk about my the... kind? I mean, your family. Before mother, where you came from. Mother, father. Now is not the time for that. Yes, sir. Fucking break! Don't hear me screeching at you whenever you're twiddling your short and curlies. Leave him, boy. No, Fred. Well, you already soiled my solitude, so you may as well join me. You're not hungry. Good. It's not what I was offering. Saw your brother again. Congratulations. And I'm sure you'll let him go and roger my axe good and plenty again, hmm? Let's see the damage. Mm, little canker throat wouldn't know proper weight and balance if it were dangling off his chut. Hmm. Is he eating well enough? I guess. Good. All better. Now what the fuck else you want, huh? Times he gets so wrapped up in his work, Sentry has not the sense to sip us up. And if he does remember, good luck getting him to cook his own meat. Boy, what is the path back to the witch? First we need to find a boat. from here. That way. Behind the big statue of Thor. So what story were you going to tell? <laughs> there was one that concerned a hare and a tortoise. Like the witch's house? Unlikely. So what happens? They wager on a race between them. The hare is too confident of victory, and foolish, while the tortoise is steady and disciplined. The tortoise wins. You... haven't told a lot of stories, have you? Seeing things. That's some statue. Who built it, you think? I do not know.
Got another story? Very well. Where was the horse? The horse sought vengeance upon his enemy, the stag. But he could not kill the stag alone. The horse met a man, a hunter, and made a deal. He took the man's bit and bridle and allowed him to ride in the saddle on his back. Together, they killed the stag, and the horse tasted the victory. But the hunter would not release the horse, and made a slave of him. Oh, we will finish that later. Okay, huh? The water dropped. And the serpent rose. Right. I knew that. I know she's really powerful, but you really think the witch can bring a head back to life? She seems competent in her craft, and we have nothing to lose. If she can't bring it back to life, can we keep the head? No, but you may feed it to the fish. Okay. This will lead out. Hey, this does more than decipher those Nusbaum runes. It also contains the travel room. Should we go visit the fire? <laughs> Turn back Aesir. Guess the gods aren't welcome here. <gasps> there he is! I hope he remembers us. How's it going, Charlie? Is your witch friend here? What is that name? That's what he told me it was. Or what it sounded like in my head, anyway. Charlie.
What does it say? Yes, sir. Death to the Raven God, Lord of the Hen. Here, boy. I know those runes. That's Vinder. Wind. Must be for that sand bowl down there. Atreus, follow me. What does it say? Falcon, hawk, and turtle dove. Swim aloft in oceans above. Wow. Wind. She is here. It is so good to see you again. I knew you weren't dead. <laughs> Hello. Oh, can you bring a head back to life? Uh, I'm not sure I understand what... Wait. Where did you get those? The arrows. Give them to me. Now. They were a gift. Do as she says, boy. These arrows are dangerous. They're wicked. You find any more, you destroy them, understand? Do you understand? Say it! I understand. If I see them, I'll destroy them. It's all I ask. Forgive me. Please, take my arrows in their place. I have no need for them anymore. What's this about a head? <sighs> a 
Do you have any idea who this is? Did you kill him? At his request. He claimed you could revive him. Me? Are you sure you heard him right? Please? <sighs> Take him to the table. Hey, Mille. It's been a long time since I've practiced the old magic. Hold him there. Let's have a look. Well, thankfully his head hasn't decayed much and his brain is still intact. <sighs> nice clean cut. Cutting off his head of all people. I sure hope you know what you're doing. Now, hold his head under the water and don't let go. I mean it. That's enough. It worked! Let me see him. Mimir? You there? Yes. Good. Oh. Hello, Freya. Been a long time. You look well. What I did, I did for them. As far as I'm concerned, death suits you better. I'd bow if I could, Your Majesty. Forgive me. Had I known the Witch in the Woods was Freya herself, I never would have suggested this. Freya? The Goddess Freya? You didn't know either? Sorry. When word gets out that Mimir is free, the wrath of Odin won't be far behind. You are God. Leader of the Vanir, once yes, but no longer. You did not think it important to tell me. Are you really going to lecture me about that? We are leaving, boy. What? Now. You're welcome. Why did you do that? We cannot trust her. Because she's a god? Have I taught you nothing, boy? But she's helped us a lot. She lied. Some people value their privacy. Best not to judge, brother. When I require your counsel, Head, I will ask. Fair enough. Get me to Tyr's temple in the Lake of the Nine, and I'll get you to Jotunheim as promised. We know the temple. What's there? Only the last living giant in Midgard. Who better to tell us the way? The World Serpent? Wait, do you know how to talk to him? Indeed. He speaks an obscure tongue more ancient even than these mountains. None are left in Midgard who speak it. Except, of course, for me. You do? That's true. You wouldn't know it to look at him, but Jormungandr is a sparkling conversationalist. So, Mimir, why did Freya spin your face? No. Speak of Baldr. He claims nothing harms him. Aye. Baldr is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. The boasting of a god. Everyone has a weakness. Not him, I'm afraid. Baldr is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. You just said that, Mimir. Did I? What is the source of this power? Well, as I recall, it involved, uh... A spell? Mamir? Parts of my brain must still be coming back to life. Just need a moment to finish waking up. Hope he's not broken. Mamir, we're on the lake. Perfect. Dock us near the bridge.
Come here. You never did tell me why Freya spit in your face. Well, she blames me in large measure for her present circumstances, and not totally without reason. It all goes back to the long war between the Aesir and Vanir. Be not. No stories. Not while on foot. Our focus is... Ed, how do we speak to the serpent? There's a horn on a platform at the middle point of the bridge. Take me to it. Finally! That horn! Good. I put my lips to the horn. Why is he doing that? Odin had that statue made in honor of Thor. And seeing as the world serpent absolutely abhors the fat dauber, he was probably sick of looking at it. But doesn't that hurt? Well, he and Thor have a bit of an unpleasant history between them. Or they will, anyway. I guess waking up to see it was worse than the thought of lumps of solid stone passing through his gullet. You want me to ask him? No. Our only concern is Jotunheim. <laughs> Members me. Why are you? Oh, no, that's not right. Eh. Mokuno Huntunku. the pain of your loss. He will help you. Curious. What is it? Oh, nothing to be concerned about. What is he doing? Making sure we're heading in the right direction. Listen closely now. We need two things to get us into the land of the giants. First, we need to learn the travel rune that opens realm travel to Jotunheim. Second, we need to carve that rune into the special gateway. Is that one of the people where we first met you? Correct. Except the giants, in their infinite wisdom, saw to it that no ordinary chisel would do that. The job. Only the tip of a magical chisel opens that gate. Luckily, I know where it is. And it's not far. He looked kinda mad for a moment. Now that, you thought I said you were friends of Odin. You'll forgive me. I've never spoken the ancient tongue sober. Wait, look! The water's dropped even further. You can see more of the realm towers and statues. 
I haven't seen new places to explore along the shore. Where is this chisel? Find me a boat, and we'll go from there. I can read what this says now, but it's a name. Air! Whoa! The name made it light up! It's the name of one of the Valkyries. That's quite curious. get to the boat, we can either look for that special chisel now, or go exploring for a little while. I'm happy with whatever you want to do. Nightmares, huh? What awful man! Fire your back! Look here. Hey, it's another treasure map. Have you made it out of Fafnir's storeroom yet? Ready and ready. Or never mind then. Hey, Sindri. Have you met Mimir? Uh, if you mean the severed head that keeps blinking at me, please, keep it away. There is no possible way that's hygienic. Oh, that's nice. Lovely to see you too, Sindri. Nob. Why? Is that a piece of my braided mistletoe <laughs> arrow adorning your quiver strap? A little memento of your good pal, Sindri? I'm so terribly touched.
What is this place? Ah, could it be? The Eight Thrones. Stop being coy, Ed. Do you know this place or not? Ah, Mimia, the smartest man alive. I know many things. Well, whatever this place is, it looks important. To who? There is little of value here. 